Today's lectionary reading is from Psalm 8. Uh, the response to is, You have given your Son rule over the works of your hands. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. You have exalted your majesty above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, you have fashioned praise because of your foes. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. What a beautiful, beautiful poem. And I know with the Psalms, they're especially beautiful in the original Hebrew. I wish I read it, right? I wish I was great with languages. Some people pick up languages very fast. I'm very slow. But yeah, even in English translation and in the NAB, right, which we use for our lectionary, which is a particularly artfully rendered, the beauty of this just come through, right? God being over the earth, and creating such beautiful things, such as the moon and the stars, set in such a way, the moon is set in such a way that it appears to our eyes about the same size as the sun. And apparently, if it weren't, if it were further or closer or smaller, we may not have the uh, type of uh, waves on this planet that would even facilitate life. Such a little thing. So amazing. Um, you know, and we feel so small sometimes, but what is man that we should that God should be mindful of us? And yet he is. God loves us. God created us. God cares for us. God sustains our every single breath. It's pretty amazing. So in my ancient faith study Bible, uh, St. Bede speaks on this verse. Uh, he speaks on, uh, yeah, uh, verse 6, so eight, uh, Psalm 6, Psalm 8, verse 6 in particular. Uh, when the psalmist said of the Father concerning the Lord, as he rose from the dead, you have put all things under his feet, is surely the same as what the, our Lord himself said to his disciple as he rose. All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Matthew twenty eight eighteen. Indeed, even before Christ rose from the dead, the angelic virtues in heaven knew that they were rightfully subject to the human nature they saw had been specifically assumed by their maker. Blind human beings on earth, however, disdained to be brought into subjection to one they knew had put on mortality in common with themselves. They declined to understand the divine power in his miracles, since they discerned that there was human weakness present in his sufferings. And that's from his homilies on the Gospels. Well, yeah, so, of course, this does also point directly to Jesus, who also made us sons of God in the sense that we're adoptive sons and daughters of God, right? Children of God. Um... But so many people, you know, people who uh, don't want to see Jesus, right, focus on his uh, weakness, right? And that weakness is just weakness. But Jesus taught us weakness is strength. God put us in a place that many angels thought was too high. A third of them fell and became demons, right? So it isn't just humans who reject it. God's humility, God's choice to humble himself, God's gratuitous gift to us. But just be aware what a gift it is, the universe working for us, working for you. Have a blessed day.